Are the mics working? Dude, oh my god, this is so botched. Welcome back to another episode of The Botch Pod, the worst podcast in the world. Very special guest today. Um, he was nice enough to let us into his humble abode. Mr. Snowman himself. For me? Matter of fact, let's cheers to that, man. Cheers to that. Cheers. Welcome to the crib. Cheers. Thank you. Water Thank and you. lemon. What y'all drinking on? Happy Dad. Happy, I got a pineapple Happy Dad. When in, when in Rome. Let's say. Happy Dads. Happy Rads, speaking to the mic. Nah, yeah, bro, but welcome to the crib. Uh, you know, I rock with y'all boys, man. I rock with, I've been rocking with you for how many years? I think it's been going on like... You were a rookie when I first met so you. So then it's six years now. Yeah. Six years, man. And uh, This bum right here? Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's actually graduated from the bum word. Really? He's, he's officially like... Like Bum Savage. Oh, Bum Savage. You know, so like he got a golden star on top of the bum. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, bum you're, Savage? You're Bum Savage. There's nothing wrong with that. Is that, like a, is that like a polished turd, basically? It's more so like a like a polished turd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably like a polished like turd. Like gold spray paint on a on one of Cammy's poops. Mm, Cammy, Cammy speaks poops gold, though. Like, I don't know. No. Cammy don't, no, nah, fuck all that, man. Forget that. But you got me all over, over the place. Nah, <laughs> ain't no shit talking, man. Let's rock. How's the offseason going? Offseason's cool. Um, you guys have officially met AK the right way. Yeah. And uh, offseason has been, has been going well, you know. It's been going. Uh, I did a little bit of moving around in the beginning, but grind time. Been on grind mode. Today, I think I put up like four plates or something like that. She was ill. You know, was awesome. So we're getting strong out here, man. You couldn't flip strong. that tire, though. I'm just going to say that. You know, I no. thought about flip, flipping a tire, but, but then I said, there's no point in me straining because if I get hurt, exactly, there, it's just like, what's the point? So I definitely could have flipped it, but I was like, I don't want to strain and, you know. Could you have, though? For sure. Okay. 100%. <laughs> For those of you who don't know uh, AK, who he was just mentioning, is uh, your trainer, right? <laughs> Hell yeah. AK Fit, 24-7. Chopper! Stop, stop. That's what he does. He's crazy, man. He's great. He's great. He's <laughs> a great yeah. human. He's, he's just so electric. Just uh, constant energy from the man. Never never a dull moment. Fucking nutball, dude. He's awesome, though. Absolutely great nutball. Great dude. a good way. Great dude, man. He's so fun and exciting. He's, uh, he's not Call him AK Chopper, man. He is literally one of the most craziest dudes you'll ever meet. Uh, one of the realest dudes you'll ever meet, but crazy is with a capital C. And it might even be like with a K. Well, I was going to say with a K maybe? Yeah, honestly. Capital like, K? It might even be like with a capital golden K. Cause, golden K. Because he's crazy. Like I'm talking about, I could come in there and work out at 6 a.m. And he's up probably at 4 o'clock in the morning already like, like, <laughs> like in, in, in on shots. Crazy, but that's that's his lifestyle, and then he's just amped up. And you know, he is everything that I want out of a trainer. You know, you come in there no matter what time it is, and he's gonna give you all of him. And you know, and his energy definitely pulls you through the workout, and it makes you want to lift more. So, I couldn't ask for a better, a better, uh, better homie, man. Better homie. How'd you get linked up with him? Oh man, the Pouncy Twins, Pouncy Twins, uh, Mike specifically, um, Mike. Mike introduced me to AK and I was like, it's your guy. And you know, when the older legends talk, I just listen. So uh, if he said that this was my guy and this is what, and I need it, that's, that's what I've been doing. And honestly, ever since I've been working out of AKs, like, you know, like my career has gone, has, what's the word, excel? Yeah, you know, so it's, so, yeah. uh, it's definitely been on a gradual, in, you know, incline. So I'm thankful for it. It's good. It's cool. What's tougher, AK's workouts or the team workouts? Well, the 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 workouts are drastically different. Um, you know, the, they're both hard, like in their own sense. Like 
Like when you go into like the NFL, like everything doesn't just get drastically harder. Like you just got to maintain but your time better. But uh, the workouts are definitely different, more, more, I would say, Ivy League correct in the building. And I call the building uh, in the facility. Yeah. But uh, AK is like, it's more like, it's, it's, it's more like, like warehouse, like jailhouse, like, like workouts. So like you're just raw going, shit. like raw, yeah. like, but like you're just going in there to pick weights up. Mm-hmm. Like you go in there to pick stuff up and put them down. Like right. literally um, all the, the, basics the, 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 the regular basic stuff, mm-hmm. pull-ups, dips, you know, bench press, curls, chains, you know, yeah. no whips, but chains. <laughs> 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 but yeah, uh, the gritty, gritty of the gritty. And, and, and that's kind of and what I like just to keep me, you know, level-headed and just keep me, like, to the roots. Like, everything don't always have to be overly pretty and beautiful, but, you know. Right. I mean, you were working in there today. Oh, yeah. You were pushing. You, you were, you we were, get after you were it, man. on a few things. Yeah. He, he was pushing you, though. So that's Absolutely. what you need the trainer for. Yep, that's what you need him for. Cause Especially, yeah. If it wasn't for him, I would not have lifted that four or five with the chains. Because yeah. I think, but the chains add, like, extra... Yeah, oh, so the chain at least they add weight yeah. as you're pushing up. So, so and, and I there. had chains on both sides. Yeah. So like I don't even know how much. You're I not gonna put today. chains on one side though. I mean, but but still, I mean, I'm just telling the people that no, don't no, know. No. You gotta put chains on both sides. Both sides. <laughs> so you heard it, it ain't just one; it's two. So, fifty and fifty, it's a hundred. You know, <laughs> seventy and seventy, it's one forty. You know, fifty fifty, you know, it's a hundred. So, but um, yeah, so Burberry shirt though. Oh, Burberry shirt, yeah. If you Burberry know, shirt, though. We're, we're rocking. We're rocking today. We're, we went all out. <laughs> Burberry the, shirt. The Dion pod. So, Hell yeah. So we were talking the other day. Um, I said this to you the other day, but I want to say it on the pod because I think everybody, a lot of people can agree. Um, like, from meeting you and, like, hanging out with you and, like, doing things with you, like, your energy matches the exact persona you put off online, and I think that's crazy. <laughs> like, from, like, other people I've met and type things like that, like, a lot of people don't, like, think that. You yeah. know, like, not, not, not you, but just, like, like, people in general, like, if there's like an eccentric person or a crazy person and like always high energy, like they think it's just for the camera, but I can say right now, like that is strictly like you are crazy and I love it. Yeah. It's just always constant go. Well, I appreciate that. I, I try to be true to myself, you know. Um, I'm not at everybody's cup of tea. You know, it's either you you love me or you hate me. Like yeah. it's it's one or the other. Like like I got a lot of haters, man. A lot of haters cause they really don't know like how to deal with me, and they might think that it's fake. Cause whenever like the camera's on, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. but that's literally me all day, all the every day, <laughs> yeah. all day, every day. Like that's like that's me. It's crazy. Like however, like you you want to call it, it could be a couple of screws loose, or it could be a couple of whatevers. But man, I'm telling you, I'm happy with the the person that God has given me, and I for sure let it be shown all day, every day. You yeah, know? you can definitely see that. Hell yeah, yeah. It's it's a good, good time. Who do you think the funniest person on the team is? The funniest person on the team? Yeah. Random man, question. There's a couple, man. There's a... Uh, I'm a huge supporter in Isaiah and Mackenzie. Isaiah and Mackenzie is definitely funny. Uh, Gabe Davis is definitely hilarious. Uh, Trey White is hilarious. Josh is honestly hilarious as well. Um, Gabe know. seems quiet, though. Like, is that just... Like, I mean, Gabe is Gabe is like himself. Gabe is Gabe Gabe sit, sits back and and he listens. But when he's in his comfort zone, whether it's like like in my basement or like if we're all vibing or if he's just doing like his own thing, like just in his comfort zone. Yeah, Gabe is. He's funny. Funny, funny dude. Look, a boat. We were, we were, <laughs> we were setting up the podcast and there was a boat going by and we're like, yo, if a big boat goes by, that'd be like just like cool. Like a nice little background scenery. Yeah. Shit. Relaxing vibe. Yep. Cool. You're going to buy a boat. When I retire, maybe. But, you know, I'm from Jersey. And I'm, and not to say that I'm scared to own a boat, but like, I, like, I feel like these, like the people that grew up here, like that's just part of like, part of like their nature. Yeah. Like, part of like my nature, like growing up is like dirt bikes and four wheelers. Mm-hmm. Like the boats is like, that's a whole nother world, man. It's a lot of work, too. That's, that's a lot of work, bro. It's a like, whole lot of work. To clean Crazy. it, to maintain it, to have a crew, depending on how big your boat is, to actually know, like, what you're doing. And, like, 
like that boat stuff is too much. Like I would like rather just rent one, rent or be for on a like days, yeah. be on a neighbor's boat. Like yeah, right. Like, like, like nah. But you know, God, whatever, whatever goes, man. You know, maybe when I retire, but nothing and before. I think it'd be pretty cool with like a boat out back. Just to sit there. Just to sit there. Yeah. But like, but like, I think like what I good. should do is I should get like one of these like bi- like billionaires to like put their boat there, and oh. just charge them for the docking fee. Yeah. Why not? Why not? It's smart. Yeah, it's not why not? not? Somebody who Business doesn't man. use uh, in their boat that's not getting on every day, where I don't have to see him every day. Come and dock your boat here. You know, it'll be safe. You know, smart. I got the little bumpers. I got the I got the cleats. Everything. You know, so. Everything you hey, need for it. Come and dock your boat and pay me, you know, a little rent. <laughs> pay me a little rent. If anyone's listening, if dock anybody's your boat listening. At this man, for people that don't know, is a legit businessman too. Yeah, absolutely. I love that about you. What do you what do you have like plans for in the future coming up? If if you can say uh, I got a bunch of stuff, you know. I would say to hint on a couple things, I just put my foot in fully into the real estate world. Um and um, stay tuned for some apartments going up in Buffalo um, with, with the little snow logo. Just some, something sleek, but you won't even know it's, it's me. But when you see that little snowflake, you'll, you'll know it's snow. But, um, yeah, real estate. I've, uh, I've jumped into in, in real estate, you know. Um, I've been blessed with, uh, with the abilities to play f- football and get a second deal, second like contract, and I'm working on my third now. So, um, real estate is definitely one of the things that I think every businessman or every person who wants to achieve a certain of level should should have. So, you know, gen- generational wealth is definitely something that um, I strive for. You know, and and uh, like, but like, not to put it and like this, but like, you know, like black people and like any colored or minority or anybody who comes from like a from a foreigner place, like, like we have to, like you know, set our families up, because we understand the the flaws and the positives of this of this world. Yeah. And you, you know, I enjoy in my life, and I would rather my kids and their kids and their friends and their cousins to have some type of enjoyment, because it's definitely fun. Yeah. As as you guys know, it's definitely it's fun. Crazy. It's, it's definitely crazy. fun. You're not stop too. It's yeah, not yeah. stop though. It does not stop. That ever get tiring? What? You ever get like? You ever get a day to relax? No, <laughs> that's that is hard to say. But with the stuff that I like want to do in my life, it is impossible. It is impossible, and I'm already doing myself a disjustice because I feel like waking up at 6 a.m. is still not early enough for the amount of stuff that I like want to do, and that's just from listening to like. Guys like Jay Z and Rick Ross and like Diddy and like all those like moguls, like all those guys that talk about like, you know, if you sleep eight hours a day, like, like you're not winning. Right. And, you know, I work out, like, I wake up at six and then I usually like work out at like 6 30, mm-hmm. 6 4, like 45. But if I can be done with all that stuff by, by six, imagine how much else? time and everything else you can get done during a day. To be a boss, you got to make boss moves. And you got to make boss decisions. Decisions, And too. you got to sacrifice like a boss. Do everything that the people don't want to do. And that's wake up at 5, 4.30, yeah. you know, while everybody's sleeping. <laughs> You're looking at everybody's Instagrams from, from last night, still out. Yeah. That's, that's a thrill of mine, though. Mm-hmm. When, I'm, when I'm up in the morning and you see people like, oh, just posted... Uh, an hour ago or like an hour ago, yeah, no, and it's mean. like, damn, like you was just at the club an hour ago. Shit, I'm on the way to the gym. Yeah, You're like yeah, I'm on the way to go work. You right. know, I just beat your ass today. Fuck yeah. it, you out the you out the system. Uh-huh. But yeah, man, for sure. Gotta have a little bit of play involved though. I mean, always. You have a lot of fun, right? Have lots of fun. Yeah. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of fun, but also work lots and lots yeah. and lots and lots and lots. Co- like there's uh, a cost to everything. As as you like, you know, one of the. One of like one of the of the things that I like to do is I like to show people who want to be involved and want to know what I'm doing. I want them to see like like but like what I really do, and that's why like when, like when we went like like to the gym today, I showed y'all like this is like what I do. I come in here, I close all of the doors, I turn the fans off, I sweat box. It's a sweat box in there every day. I was going to say that. I was like, why are these fans off? <laughs> I knew I turn, you were doing I it. I turn <laughs> yeah. everything off because. You know, like, 
and not and not to say that I'm training for like games in the heat, but you, like you know, games in the heat will sneak up on you. Like, yeah. And we usually have like a game in the heat, like in a hot, 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 like either in the beginning of the season or at the end. And imagine going through a season like where you're in Buffalo and it's like chilly, it's chilly, it's chilly. All of a sudden, you have to play where it's like blazing hot. It's a different environment. It's like a different from environment. Week to week, it's it's got to be. It's a crazy transition. Yeah. Type thing, you know. And also with being like, but like a big guy, you know, any extra pounds that you could shed off, shed them off. You yeah. know. And I call myself a big guy, and I'm not, and I'm not even like crazy big, but you know, any extra pounds, shoot that, and that gives me an extra. An extra Snapple or extra, or slice extra of pizza, or extra slice, slice of pizza. Of pizza. Yeah. yeah, but you know, yeah. little hints. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Little treat slices. Yourself. Treat yourself. You know, treat yourself. <laughs> so, uh, going back to the football, um, who, like, what, what are you most excited for this season? Is it uh, certain people that are getting that are coming out of the team that came out of the team? Yeah. Uh, just the season in general. I mean, obviously, you're gonna. It, I mean, you guys are like number one right now. Like projected. That don't matter. I know. I, I hate all of that stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, I hate it. No, I don't and want to say that I hate it. I love the and respect. I'm thankful for it. Yeah. But I hate hearing about it. Mm-hmm. I would rather it be there, but I don't want to hear about it. Right. Because I don't like we don't live off of that. Like, no. like that stuff happens every year. Like, oh, they're projected. Da, da, da. And then if you feed into it, it never happens. So, um, I'm thankful for it. Yeah. That whatever we're projected, I'm thankful for, like, you know, the status of guys that are growing, you know. But I'm excited for and for guys like and like Gabe Davis, you know. I'm excited for guys like like Josh, you know, Vaughn Miller, mm-hmm. like guys like 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 uh, Roger, like Roger Stafford, like yeah. guys that are coming into to this and 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 really what they're going to bring like to the table for. This next year, if they were there, or pr- like the previous year, and for the and for the uh, the new guys, and honestly, for them to really see like what a fan base is, like wherever like they were at, like like everybody is gonna say, oh, we got the best fans. I'm I'm thankful for you and blah. blah, blah. But we really got and got the best fans. It's crazy, hands down. How? Like like everybody, like everybody leaves and and gets traded, and they be like, man, I just want to thank the best fan base in the world. I'd be like, you guys are so full of shit. I know. Yeah. Like, 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 that's far from the best fan, like the fan base ever. Like, like what? You're tripping. Yeah. You're big tripping. Like, Buffalo's crazy. Buffalo is insane. And when they feel it, they really feel it. It's addicting. It's addicting. I want to play my whole career in Buffalo. Really? Hell yeah. That, I don't want to uh, go nowhere else. That playoff game was insane. Yo. When those lights went out, you guys ran out? Lit. Uh, was it, that was Lit. insane. That night game? Man, that draw was I've never serious. Never seen anything like that. Come on now. It was insane. You guys coming around. We're like, why the lights go out? Man, We've never seen this before. I feel like at McDermott, I got the chills right now just thinking about it. Right. You know, so McDermott says he be like, I got the chills, the chills. <laughs> but for real, how was it during COVID? But like, no fans there. <sighs> so. Man, it wasn't. It wasn't horrible. Um, but it definitely brought the relationship closer. Like to the fans, like not having them and having them, it's almost like breaking up like with somebody and then like realizing, like fuck, I really need you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like fuck, I really need you. <laughs> that's such a good, Yo. That's such a, that's <laughs> like a great um, comparison. And and uh, just feeling that, it's like like it's just like yeah, we, and we fucking need y'all. So, um, yeah, not having them and then having them just made it like so much better. And then like what my and my dog Dan said like that night game. When oh. the lights went off? Oh, my gosh. Talk to me. Talk to me. Nice. Boy, that was serious. That was crazy. Super crazy. <laughs> Insane, man. I, I, oh, man. This I, is electric, dude. I will never forget that. I will never, yeah. ever electric. forget that. That whole night was <laughs> Another insane. Another one. Electric. <laughs> <laughs> electric. Electric. This pot is electric. What do you think about the new stadium? Uh, I Big think it's going to be lit. Party deck. Yeah, party deck. I think party it's deck. Be lit. What's a party deck? I don't know. They said, they We're gonna find the, out. They sent the flyer. There's a party deck. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but like, I guess you can party on it and watch the game. No way. That's Who's probably where we're gonna get jump, kicked out. Or jump through a table and get banned. It, it, it's gonna be all him. security, but yeah, him. It, yeah, it's probably gonna. Hundred percent him. I mean, I'll be associated with him, guilty by association, but definitely him. He'll be the one going through the table. Probably. And then becoming a legend forever. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yes. We'll but, a picture of you up one day. But the stadium, it's 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 just about that time. 
And I just think everything happens for a reason. And they're putting that at that stadium up because they see now they have the right team to perform in that stadium. Yeah. You know, so I'm thankful for it. I'm pushing to be here because that stadium, it's going to be up in what, 2026, 20, 20, 20, right? Yeah, 26. So that's, that's in four, four years. years. Yeah, four. Man, right here in four years, I'm in year 10, bro. Big vet. Yo, life happens fast, don't it, bro? Mm -hmm. Good golly. We looking back. It goes. I'm going to promise myself right now, you will be still the starting left tackle, the Buffalo Bills, 2026 for the new season in the new stadium. There are going to be people who, Put people it up who in save there. that. They're going to send that to you. Clip it. People are going to clip that. <laughs> clip that. And that's why you did it, though. Clip that. You believe it. I'm fighting for it. Good. You know? Just know you got, you got a fighter on your team, guys. Facts. The Every will day. of a lion. Heart of a lion. Heart of a snow leopard. Snowman. <laughs> Skate. Skate. <laughs> one time, one time, one time. Skate. No, the frit. Frit. Skate. <laughs> <laughs> You've been trying to teach us. You've been trying to teach us. We're getting there. Slightly. I'm getting better. <laughs> Max, Max is the worst. Yeah, Max is the Max worst. Max is the worst. Hell yeah. <laughs> so funny. Skate. Right, Skate. What do you got, AJ? My daughter is really good at, at it, too. Really? Hex, yeah. She'd be like, Skate. <laughs> <laughs> You've been teaching her since she was, she was growing up? What? I've been since, plotting since that into her brain, bro. <laughs> And she's going to get kicked out of class like, <laughs> I'm going to say, baby, you can't do that. Good job. Good job. Hey, Good job. hey, hey, hey don't do that. You walk right out of the door. Hey, give me some. Give me Dab some. Rob, right? Handshake yeah. it up, you know. <laughs> we lit. Uh, how was the Pro Bowl this year? Uh, Pro Bowl was great experience. Your um, first one, right? First one. Hell yeah. Uh, it was a great experience. Really, really great experience. Um, man, I've, I've been... Like, that was a goal of mine from childhood, you know, to to become a pro bowler and, a, and a, you know, eventually become an all-pro and, like, all that stuff. Um, super dope, man. Super dope. I'm super thankful. Um, God is true. You know, God and God has been driving me. And, um, you know, I'm far and from perfect. And, and I know it. I'm far and from perfect. I make tons of mistakes, you know, and I just keep stepping forward. And that's the only thing that I'm... I can ask for, you know, is just to stick with me and just let me just keep stepping forward through all of the good, the bad, and the ugly. And um, Pro Bowl was lit, yeah. super lit. What was your favorite part? Oh, man, it was probably the uniform. The uniform? The, yeah. Like, like having a different uniform on but still a Bills, like, uniform was dope. No, like, yeah, it's different. Change like, up. And, like, that was dope. And then, you know, honestly, like, being there with, like, your teammates and um, – you know, enjoying that moment and just, just being with, you know, a bunch of guys, like, on a certain level, like, like I'm extremely thankful, extremely, like, thankful. And, uh, you know, I plan to, you know, get a shit ton more underneath in my belt. You going back? Hell yeah. I'm not going to lie, it was so boring to watch. It always is. But. Isn't it? Yeah, for the past couple of years. When you and Steph were in, like, I was, yeah. I oh, yeah. was locked in on it. Because. And I, and, and I would say that, that you might think that it's boring because, like, you know, guys ain't really playing full, like, full speed. Cause too in, I mean, it's too in touch. To, and I understand yeah. Like, that, nobody's, though. like, trying to get hurt. We yeah. understand it, yeah. But um, One person I don't think that that shit's boring. And I'm going to tell you the truth. The, and, but the D-line were, were at, like, they were not – like playing pity pat, like they were really coming off other football. Oh, yeah. There was one dude from the Raiders that yeah, had like Max Crosby. Yeah, he had like three sacks. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. Really? Yeah, he went off, dude. Cra crazy. <laughs> love, I love, I love him to death, but he had his mindset. <laughs> That's yeah. what he wanted to freaking do, and he did it. But um, I like yo, it's fun. It's it is extremely fun. Um, I got to see why. Wyatt Teller, you know, Wyatt play guard next to me in Buffalo, and then uh, he got traded to the Browns. But, you know, super thankful. That's good. Super That's thankful. Good. If there's uh, – I, I don't even want to think about this, but if there is one team – that, oh, you could, you that you could play for besides the Bills, who would it be? Hell Just yeah. Said no one. If I had one team that I could play for besides the Bills, it would be the Bills. <laughs> and only the Bills. I was getting so like, ready. Like, I could never see myself, you know, 
like now, like I can never see myself playing for a, diff a different team. But did you grow up? Owner. Did you grow up like a, that's a, good one, that's a good one. Eagles fan? Nah, you know, like I Jersey, grew up in, in Jersey, so it, so it was more so like the Giants and the and like the Jets, like that was like my area. Yeah. Um, but I I was a huge like Brian Dawkins fan and a huge Michael Vick fan, but Iverson too. Iverson too, like yeah. like um definitely like Iverson. Like I'm gonna get an Iverson tat. Like like on, like on my leg, but um, um yeah. What was the thing last year? You were doing a tattoo for every win. Right? Yeah, 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 you gonna yeah. do that again? Absolutely. And I gotta coach. get my whole like back done. So you see, whole stomach is is done even around the ninnies. So we we think, <laughs> you know. But um, yeah. Though the crazy thing is, growing up, bro, I didn't even really watch football, bro. Yeah. Like I didn't even watch like 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 you know like people sit down and and they're like yo it's monday night it's sunday it's thursday uh -huh. we gotta watch like i was not in the house ever right ever in the house like i was outside all day long i have no problem believing that either. like at the at the park doing crazy stuff doing hood rat stuff with my friends doing like hood rat stuff like with my <laughs> <laughs> like literally doing doing that doing everything bro like like i was a kid and i'm glad that i was in that era where kids did not want to be in a house like right. we had video games but the video games were like a like a sleep overnight thing like no, it wasn't right. like a like a let's just link up and play video games like it was like like let's link up and go run a pickup game at the park like let's link up and go play you like but like ding dong ditch or go throw eggs like at some cars or if there was snow on the ground like we were throwing snowballs and hauling ass like yeah. stuff like that like but yeah i did not watch fo football I was longboarding. I was on like the inline skates. I was on the scooters, the BMX bikes, like doing all type of crazy stuff, like literally. And it, and, and and all that stuff has gotten me to to being, you know, happy feet, you know, big dancing bear me. Right. You know? When did you start playing football? Man, well, he always steals my questions. I swear. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say like when I I had to have been like seven, bro, seven, seven or younger. Early. Um, it was it was early, and I was flagged. And flag just gradually got do 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 do, and it just kept like going up. Yeah. And um, then I had to stop playing like football because I was like too big. Like it was like weight limits, and I was like too big. Yeah. And then um, I stopped playing ball. It was I don't know a year and a half, two years. And then when I got to high school, I played freshman. Then I got in trouble for stealing, got kicked off of the football team, and then you know got blessed back in that following year, and then you know try to like switch it up yeah and then hauled ass when did you uh realize that you wanted to uh like take this to the next level like whether it's college or uh even like you start taking it serious in high school type thing yeah or were you just like always okay yeah keep going yeah it's my mentor um i had a mentor his name was uh, antonio garay and daniel garay they were brothers antonio garay played in, in a league for a long time and his brother um like 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 he was a, a raw hero like played like football as well. Um, he didn't, you know, go pro like like but like his brother. But uh, Tone just told me he was like, "Yo, Dion, like, like you don't really like realize like how gifted you are, like your size, your your speed, your ability. Like you have a chance. Like you have a chance. Like if you clean all that other like stuff up off other field, like like you have a chance. And when I mean stuff off other field, I was wild. I was extremely wild. Like extremely wild. Like." Mm -hmm. And um, once he, like, said it, I was like, man, like, like if this NFL guy that doesn't even know me, you know, can tell me that. And this is before he was my, my mentor. Mm -hmm. um, um, he can, like, pull me, like, like, to the side and tell me that I actually, like, have a chance. Um, I was like, well, f shit, I might as well just believe it. You know, yeah. like, ain't nobody else, like, but, like, telling me stuff. Yeah. So, hey, uh, let's rock. So. I trusted him, rocked out, and we've been rocking. You know, awesome. and I'm thankful to be who I am today. It's crazy. It's, crazy. it's definitely one crazy. One little thing like that in life, some one person can say something that changes your whole life. Hell yeah. Seriously. And all it takes is just that person and just to listen. You know, a lot of people are told stuff all of the time, but they just don't listen. Yeah. You know, I'm just like thankful that whatever clicked on that day just made me listen. And, um, you know. How many lit. offers did you have coming out of high school? Barely any. Um, shoot. They were all like like D3, like D2 stuff. 
And I was like, man, I'm a D1 athlete. Crazy thing, bro. Let me tell you this crazy stuff. I had a high school coach, you know, and I'm a, I, I, I don't know if I want to like say his name, but a high school coach, right? Yeah. Our, our football coach. Mm-hmm. When we were trying to get into the process of, of college and trying to apply to schools and stuff like that, like I was getting like re- recruited by Penn State early. Like early, like Penn State would come down, they would come see me, like the O line coach would come like to the school and I didn't really even know like what was going on. Like I was like, Oh, like cool, like Penn State. So I like the coach would come down, like he would always ask for me and you know, I would come in the office and speak to him and it'd be like the football coach in there and uh I didn't like really un- like understand and they kept saying, like, yeah, just and just get your grades up, just get your grades up. And I was like, All right, cool. And um you know, like my coach ain't really ever tell me how serious it like it was, but it was serious. And I used to go like to the camps and, you know, perform at the camps and do well at the camps and stuff like that. And um, my high school coach told me I would never be a D1 athlete and I was a D3 superstar. Like I was like, what? I was like, what the fuck? Like I am not like he said, you would never play D1 ball and you're a D3 Superstar, maybe a D two athlete. Like that's messed up. Like that's like the exact opposite of what coaches are there for, bro. You know I'm saying, and he said that shit in front of my parents, oh. and my parents still, still Easy. remember this. Mm-hmm. Like, like, and I will never forget it. Never, like, I will never forget it. But you know, and I'm thankful for it because, like, I, I, that drove me and that gave me fire. But you feel me, like. Like, the funny thing is that, like, he'd be trying to text me and stuff like that. I'd be like, man, you're a bitch. Yeah, li- like, little things that drive you. Like, yeah, and then shit like that. People, like, people do that. Like, fuck you, dog. Yeah. You know? Respectfully, though, but no. fuck you. Like, yeah, but, I mean, hey. Seriously. Like, like respectfully, mean, but, like, fuck you. Like, you know? They look, they look at me. Yeah. They, they look, like, everything you said, literally everything that you just said, I first of all, proved you wrong. Whether it's one person, and there's so many people out there that just doubt. Like, you Heck said, yeah. there's so many haters. Everybody, has, we have so many just for absolutely Heck nothing. Yeah. But it's like that was gonna be yeah. my next question. Like, what, like, how do you deal with like hate, negativity? Because you're you're in obviously a big spotlight. How do you how do you deal with that? I I really don't like I don't just pay, ignore it. I don't pay no attention to it. And I'm am a, a media guy. Like I like the internet. I like the interaction with people. And I just turn a blind like shoulder to it. I know there was one point where where it almost caught me when I was having like a couple like but like holding calls and like I was like like I was like looking at Twitter I was like damn like but like people were like yo this motherfucker Dion sucks and I'm like damn do I really suck is that the Steelers game this year <laughs> that, but that was the first game of the of yeah. the season yeah just coming yeah. off COVID just coming off COVID and different. people were trying like, to eat me yeah, up yeah bro they it were trying crazy. to eat me alive yeah. and I was like you know what <laughs> that's cool I'm gonna let them speak their truth speak whatever they want to speak yeah but I'm Twitter just, sucks I'm man just, a bunch of, Twitter, bunch of armchair GMs in, in bro, fucking Twitter it's, I it's, wish, it's bro, hilarious I wish there can be a face to face for everybody who tweets oh yeah there has to be <laughs> oh. a face to face for everybody oh. who tweets man cause I mean I would yeah whatever it's no, what it's funny. We, we we get a lot of it too oh, it's on TikTok so more, but I can't even imagine what you must deal with, man. Yeah. Like we're, our platform is so much small, and we get it. Like I, to be honest with you, I, I try not to read comments at all. I get it. I ignore everything as much as I can because like there's a lot of support in there, but some people are just vicious, especially on the internet. I wish vicious, there was a one on one thing like that. Super vicious. People are See, crazy. I, I'm I, crazy. I'm weird. I, I ignore a lot of it. I don't let it get to me. But there's one, <laughs> some of the comments that are just like downright fucking just. Bro, shout out yeah. Bubba Thump on TikTok. Yeah. His, his, Bro, his name is Bubba Thump. I, I take some of the comments and I actually print them out. Like I'll put a collage of a bunch of them and just put them right next to my desk when I'm, you know, when I'm working. If I'm not feeling motivated, I'll just fucking look at them and be like, fuck you. I'm going to prove all these people wrong type shit. But, That's the way to do it, man. Dude, you got to be. You got to be your biggest support system. Yeah. If you ain't going to believe in yourself, well, nobody will believe in you more. And I done learned that early. Like, you got to put the, like, you got to put your own foot as far as you want to put it 
so you can step that other foot. Boom, boom, and just keep stepping. Boom, boom, boom. Right that's in their why, ass. That's why. That's why. Put the foot <laughs> right in their that's ass, why, dude. That's why when I be like, when I be like telling AJ, like, and I call him AJ, like, I, that's why, like, when I call call AJ and I tell him some of my visions, I be like, bro, we're either doing it full speed, all the way, or we ain't doing it at all. Or it's not there ain't happening. no halfway. Like, if we gonna do something, I be- believe that mine's gonna be the best. Over everybody's, it gotta be, yeah. you know. And then if it's not, you, we ain't doing it. Like, why are you doing it if you're not trying to be the best? Got to. It's 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 a, at that point like you gotta sit back to yourself and realize, think to yourself like. But well, we're doing it because we fun. we got the worst podcast in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we say that. But <laughs> we I mean, say that. I mean, it's I mean, jokes. I mean, I, I mean nobody. We got the audience. Nobody in Buffalo is is at the level of podcasting that that we're at. And humble yourself. Son. I well, I'm saying like nobody, <laughs> nobody does it. Everyone, everyone works hard. Like everyone that does podcasts in Buffalo works very hard, and they do a lot of great work. But what I'm saying is nobody does it like we're doing it, like yeah. with the cameras and the mics and everything. Like calls. it's it, they all do it over Zoom and a lot stuff. Of Zoom and, calls in Buffalo. I don't know. That's corny. Zoom calling? No, Zoom. Zoom is cool, but the it's it's the in person. There's, like, there's no other feel. Like this right here, like because like we could sit over a screen and talk to you, like we could be back in Buffalo talking to you right now. You know what I mean? It, it won't be the same. It's different. It's different. Like we're here, we're we're, we're, we're laughing together, and it's just like it's, it's not as like, for sure. It's different. I don't know how to explain it. Can't really explain it unless you're yeah. Here. And then we're going to play football after on the beach. You're about to get. Speaking get right. of that, what time we at? What time we at? We are at three thirty-six. Thirty-six. Thirty-six minutes on the pod. I mean. 36 minutes on the pot. Tell them oh. to pull out the cars and don't don't stop. We got to go to Miami to hit the beach hard. Football, we know we finna rock. AJ and my dog Dan, Burberry shirt, no stand. <laughs> Eminem, he might be the man. But I'm going to tell you, I'm the one with the plan. Snow. Uh. No ski. Yeah. No man. <laughs> Freestyle master over here. Dude, Freestyle so. snow. Freestyle, yeah. We do everything we got to do because we... The, we, 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 we. <laughs> Call Benny up, tell him to get you a deal. What you coming? What you coming in? The newest member of BS. Would you ever baby. do that? Would you ever get into rap? Absolutely. Really? But I'm gonna tell you the truth, right? I didn't chose my lane, right? You know, I'm an athlete. I yeah. didn't chose in my lane. So I think, you know, we like there's a couple of musicians that are really, really good. Like Major Nine is elite. You probably have no idea who Major Nine is. I'll be honest with you, I'm sitting here shaking my head just like, but I have no idea. I figured that, and I'm about to tell you. (laughs) Like, Major Nine is a football player. He played for the Browns the last time that I knew. I think he went to the University of Miami and he, like, helped produce, like, one of, like, like, um, like, a few of, like, Rick Ross's, like, projects. Really? And he has his own, like, music and he's really, really, really good. And there's a bunch of other guys, too, that are really, really, really good. But I think, like, you know, there's only a handful of people that the industry would even take as serious. Like, yeah. you know, like, like, like I'm a football player and I walk true in being a football player. Like, yeah. like I try to rap like times and times and times, but I don't know if it can ever be as serious as, as, as I would ever want it. Cause right. if I want to do it, I want to do it. Like, like you just said a few go. minutes ago, yeah. like we're, we're like, full go. Like, like, like retirement. Hope. Would you ever pursue like Hove. Nah. I don't know. I'm going to just like and support Benny and them boys, you know, and live my dream through through the butch. Yeah. You know, because. And there's no stopping that train. Yeah, there's That's no stopping that train. Up. Yeah. Benny, Benny be doing uh, and his thing, the real tone, City Boy, Rick Hyde, Heem, you know, Bolt, yeah. you know, Hezzy, you know, all them boys, man. Love them to death. Yeah. Gang. They're good guys. I'm at a good few dudes, great dudes. Gang, gang, gang. We've been, getting, we've been doing stuff more and more lately. Um, Heck yeah. We were talking about your tattoos earlier. Uh, what's your like favorite? You got a favorite? Ooh, you know, I got a big snow on my stomach. That one is dope. I got a big snow across my stomach, and I got my kid's name in it um, in Arabic writing. Uh, so the snow represents me. I am the snowman. And um, the meaning behind it, I, like I don't know if anybody knows like the real meaning of snow. I was actually just gonna ask, but you, like, um, I don't know if it sounds stupid, but to to put it in full play, you know, growing up in Jersey, you know, we had all four uh, seasons: spring, summer, fall, and winter. And um, I would wait till the winter months to um, make my money. I would uh, wait for the phone to ring in the house. 
because this is when like we had like land like landmine well not landmine or landline phones landline yeah and um if we heard oh like potential oh there's supposed to be a snowstorm and if the phone rang somewhere after five o'clock somewhere in between five and six maybe six and six thirty and depending on like what district like you're in um i knew that it could potentially be the school calling to cancel school so if we got a phone ring i would listen and wait for like my mom or like or my dad to answer and then i would like be like was that in the school and if it was in the school then i knew there was a lot of snow coming i would set my alarm super early i'm talking about 5 a.m early 5 a.m because i knew people like the adults still had to go to 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 work not and not school um but they still had to like go to work so i would put my shoes on well and my boots double up on a socks jacket um i would let my parents know that I'm dipping in the morning, and um, I would go and I would hit houses. I would knock on the doors early in the morning, um, ask them if, if, if they wanted their um, if their walkway shovel, their driveway shovel, even their car started. If they felt comfortable, I would ask them if they wanted their car started so it could be warm when I got in it to drive to work, get their car clean, back the car out, warm it up, get the driveway right, and then leave their, their property clean so when they come back and from work you, you know it was it was already done and i would hit houses before they can honestly say 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 no so really? it was it was just i was a young kid coming home with hundreds and hundreds of dollars in my pocket so and you really? can only imagine like hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a kid teenager oh my I, God. I was lit i'm talking about video games that's all we wanted you know, video games, new basketballs, new footballs, new cleats, new stuff like that, new clothes and, and new shoes and new gear to to go to school and be fly. That's all I wanted, you know? Yeah. So that's I what used I did. To, I used to do the same thing. Yeah. I did not expect Knock on doors, yeah. shovel driveways. How much did you charge? So it was based on driveway size. So if it was a <laughs> single... A whole math to if it. it, if, it yeah. if, if it... So, like, everybody, like, like wasn't blessed to have, like, a double car right. garage or nothing. Like, most most of them were, like, singles. So if, if they had, like, a single garage, a walkway from the, the step and then the front, I hit them for, like, for like 40, 45. Damn. You know, I was doing like it for, like, five, five, ten bucks. Nah, <laughs> you that, skipped them. I, absolutely not. You ain't charging them, yeah, bro. Yeah, 40... So, like... Like forty dollars was like like realistic, and then usually people would would just throw me a fifty like with the tip. So I'm I'm busting like houses out for fifty dollars, and I and I would choose my location though. Yeah, like I was gonna I, say that. Like, yeah. like I wasn't doing like my neighbors' houses. Like no, I used no. to walk. Yeah. Like I used to walk literally in the snow from my house all the way to Clark, all the way to Clark. Clark yeah. is the next town over. Like like they usually were like they had like. But like more pocket money, so mm. I would go to Clark and I would hit houses, and I and I was hitting them for forty dollars because I knew that and that they had it, like it's smart. And they, and they were giving it to <laughs> no, us. No man. And, and the people and the people were super nice, um, you know. And this was like back then, so like and they would feed like feed me too, like yeah. like I, like they would give me like hot cocoa, toast, like like normal stuff, like like old heads, like grandmas and stuff like that, just taking care of of the community, and. I was feeding like off of that, you know. They would give us water bottles, like all type of stuff. I would just hit houses, knock, knock, knock. How are you doing? And then it gradually got better and better and better. So when I was in high school, I, like, I had a graphics arts class, and uh, Mr. D. Savino taught us like how to make business cards. So I made business cards for myself. I still have one left that I know of. I think, and my mom has it, but I have one left that has. Um, my business card, and it, and I used to, and on it it was shoveling snow, raking leaves, mowing lawns, and I tried to cut, connect like all four, and the bottom one said like babysitting, but I never like babysit it, <laughs> and I would never like babysit my kids. But um, and the last one was like babysitting that I had like my cell phone number on it, still the same like cell phone from when I was like in high school, and uh, she was super lit, man, super lit. So then I gradually got. Better where the, then when I got my license and I would drive, and then I would put the business cards in the mailbox and then I would get calls. That's crazy. Like, hey, like, I That's want you crazy. in and in, in the morning. It's supposed to snow and I would be there, and I would hit them. <laughs> That's awesome. And, I, I and, then, and then I was warm then because I had the truck, I had the heat, and then it just gradually just, it just, just got better. Since day one, businessman, yo, businessman. I can't help it, man. I I really can't. 
That's crazy. I yeah. was not expecting that story to come out. Like when you said, oh, we got off school, I was like thinking you were going to call up all your friends. Like hell we would go at 5 no. in the morning, call up all my friends, let's go hang out, let's go do something. Nah. Really? Yeah. Hell no. It's and if I did man. go with somebody, it was one other person. Because the more people that you go with, the more ways you have to split. Yeah. And I was not trying to split. No money. I needed all of that. Yeah. So, you know, $40 awesome. get real thin real quick with three people. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, a good no, story. Absolutely not. It's a good story. Heck yeah. I would, oh, shit, really? Shit. You got anything crazy? I don't want to keep you all day. I don't. I think uh, I'm going to go lock up in Joku real quick. I thought like you had uh, something crazy. What? You've been talking about it all week. I have For no idea. You've been talking, talking about it all week, AJ. All week. Something crazy. What do you do on TikTok, bro? Oh. oh. Were you not doing it? or? Yeah. Yo, this is so crazy. okay. All right, all right. Them. So, do you have a? Uh, I know you don't drink alcohol. Do you have like, I don't know, a can of something like water or something like like sparkling water or something? Do you have like a can? Like I like soda in there. You want to? Can you shotgun one with me? I don't know how to shotgun. I'll you teach you. Try it. Well, explain it's, it to me. All right. Why. So here, here's here's why. Here's why. Right. No, nah, I don't do it. I'm doing a shotgun a day. Just drink a on TikTok, I do a shotgun a day until Josh Allen shotguns with me. <laughs> and Brittany's seen it, so I know I know Josh has seen it. But um, today is day seventy three. Just is it, coincidence. Is it, really? actually, it actually is. is. Oh, I won't say no, but you know I got you. Come on. All right. All right. Really, Listen, so, all right. Everybody, it's check out check out TikTok. Yo, Dion, Yo. look at this camera. I know a- anything you want to plug you, but anything you want to plug? Uh man. Um, Stay tuned, Dion's Dreamers. You know, it's my foundation. Huge 716 day coming up, Buffalo. Um, we're doing it canal side, uh, and we're gonna and we're gonna go up. So stay tuned, Dion's Dreamers.org. Also support the snow gear stuff. You know, I've been slow playing it, but I'm about to jump fully back into to the snow gear. And also, uh, I'm starting to rock the, the TikTok thing because you know, like the people like want to see it. So my t- TikTok handle is Snowman, S-H-N-O-W-M-A-N. And stay tuned for some more snow TV stuff. Because I got some snow TV stuff coming soon as well. Uh-oh. And, uh, crazy, crazy. <laughs> we going to keep rocking, man. Let's hit him, hit him with the... Hit him with the... <laughs> Skate. Skate. Let's go. Thank, Thank you, you so guys much, for man. watching. Drop a sub. Let's go. Mm-hmm.